this case was presented in a joint session together with the EAU and the APCCC. And the discussion was regarding important questions after a biochemical recurrence uh, after the patient undergoes a surgery. So after the surgery, there is a not low number of, of patients that we have a biochemical recurrence. Might be 25, 30%, depending on, on where you read this literature. And we, when you have a biochemical recurrence, we know from the guidelines that nowadays, these patients should undergo molecular imaging. PET-PSMA is the most used one. And PET-PSMA will drive the treatment of these patients. This is, as we say in Spain nowadays, this is not uh, coffee with milk for everyone. PSMA will help us to tailor the treatment according to the patient need, according to the biochemical recurrence feature. We'll have some patients that have a low risk biochemical recurrence. And this patient with a low risk biochemical recurrence can be observed and can be uh, avoided some treatments that probably won't have an impact in their, in their, in their oncological outcomes. We will have some patients with high risk biochemical recurrence features, and these patients with a PSMA can be adjusted to treatment. It can be a treatment to the prostate bed, it can be a treatment to the prostate bed plus the lymph nodes, it can be a treatment uh, using ADT, it can be a treatment not using ADT, or it can be, of course, a metastatic disease. So the thing is that PSMA nowadays has changed completely the way how we approach the patients after a biochemical recurrence. And according to this PSMA, according to other clinical factors such as the PSMA double time, the Gleason score, the time to the recurrence, we will have to adapt the treatment to our patients.